guys, it's Megan. It's my lunch break on Friday and I just wanted to like vlog today. So I am wearing a turtleneck today and right now it is 75 degrees outside. So I'm about to change into a different shirt. This is so crazy. It's the end of February, but it's like perfect, like spring and fall weather. Like this weather is how it was when we were in LA and this is like my perfect, perfect weather. It's sunny, it's warm, but there's a breeze. It's like amazing to put your windows down and blast music. That's what I've been doing today. And it, this weather just makes me so, so happy. And I'm thankful I'm happy right now because like literally 30 minutes ago, I was miserable because I was going to have to go into a meeting that was like completely, it completely blindsided me and I didn't like expect it and it just like put me in a really bad mood. But then I talked to my boss and it's all fine. So I'm in a good mood again. <laughs> it, was, it was like a roller coaster of emotions. And now I am having lunch and I wanted to show you guys this meal because it's what I made um, last night for dinner and it's from um, Home Chef. And it was super easy. I would definitely say you could make it with your at-home ingredients. And then I wanted to talk about what I'm going to be making for dinner tonight. So I'm gonna turn around and show you guys that. So last night I made shrimp po' boys, which was a recipe from Home Chef. But really the two like best parts of it were the shrimp and the remoulade sauce, which were super, super easy. Basically all you need are just shrimp and then, um, some Cajun seasoning. So whatever kind of seasoning you want, um, you can use for that. And then the remoulade was just mayo, pickle relish, and it says to put in the Cajun seasoning, but I just put in um, salt, pepper, um, onion powder, and garlic powder because we just couldn't handle all that spice. And then you just need like rolls. So it is so delicious. It was so, so simple. And then I put on as the side dish, um, we had, uh, what are those things called? Sweet potato fries. And then also the Costco um, mozzarella sticks. Hello, use your brain, Megan. So we ate all the um, sweet potato fries and we have the mozzarella sticks left. So this was just so amazing and I would definitely make this again. And then this was the recipe, like the second recipe that we received for this week. Um, sirloin steak with blue cheese compound butter. But I think instead I'm going to make my copycat recipe for the General Tso's Mongolian beef. I'm just going to use the steak from this and the vegetables, just roast them and just use the steak for the... Mongolian beef because I need something to make for tonight. Michael's going to be here like later than normal. So I want something to be ready for when he gets here. So I'm probably going to make that for us tonight and then we won't have to worry about like rushing out anywhere um, this evening to get food. And then tomorrow we're going to be filming our Q&A. Um, the day that you guys see this is when we're filming our Q&A. Um, so if you have any last minute questions, please let us know. Silly, serious, whatever you want to ask. Uh, we've gotten some really good questions so far, so I'm really, really excited about it. And we're probably going to get our favorite Chinese food tomorrow for lunch because they do like half price for lunch. So it's like $14 for dinner, but then $7 for lunch. So I'm like, babe, let's just get the lunch because it's half the price. We can get, we can get like double the food. <laughs> it's basically what I really want. And this hair is freaking me out. My hair is down today. It looks actually really nice today, but while I'm eating, I can't have my hair like frolicking around in my face. I just can't eat. So I am going to go devour this and probably watch Grace and Frankie or some YouTube videos. And then I'll catch up with you guys later today. We also got Girl Scout cookies from my little cousin, Sarah. And I wanted to ask you guys if where you live, they call them Samoas and Tagalongs because when I grew up in Kentucky, we called them Samoas for the caramel, they, they call them caramel delights here on the East Coast. And they call the Tagalongs peanut butter patties. But I always grew up knowing them as Samoas and Tagalongs. Thin mints, which we have over there, are the same no matter where you are, I think. But I just want 
to know if you guys have these names for your Girl Scout cookies. I'm on my nightly walk. And there's so much freaking cars outside today because it's Friday, I guess. So everyone's like off doing things. And I'm enjoying this beautiful weather. It's like 72. It is perfection. I got three books in the mail that I ordered on Amazon. So I got this one. The, all of these have been on my wish list for a while. This is the Everyday Detox by Megan Gilmore. And so it says 10 easy recipes to remove tox toxins, promote gut health, and lose weight naturally. So I just thought that this would be a really great resource. I'm trying to get into ooh, Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts. Um, I'm trying to get more into making my own meals, like my own recipes. Oh my gosh, there's even a sushi recipe. And there's also, oh my god, salmon. That's one of my favorite things ever. So this just looked really good and I can't wait to start cooking out of this. Then I was really excited to get Chrissy Teigen's cookbook, Cravings. And I think that she's really, really funny. I really like her. And the graphics in this are awesome. I am so excited to start looking through this and bookmarking some recipes to make. So, oh my god, there's John Legend. And I just was intrigued by this cookbook enough to want to purchase it. So, I'm, I got that. And then this I am also intrigued by. This is Hello Glow by Stephanie Gerber and it's um, natural beauty recipes. So like masks, all sorts of different things that you can make at home with natural ingredients. And like I told you guys, one of my beauty resolutions this year is to try to make my own like skincare and things that I can make with my own ingredients and that I know where the ingredients are coming from. So I just thought this would be really, really fun. And if I find any good recipes in any of these books, I will be sure to let you guys know. Hey guys, it's Megan and it's Sunday and we are just about to go to a spaghetti dinner at my Gigi and Grampy's church. But I wanted to tell you guys that I got the AG jeans in the mail on Thursday and I have been wearing them nonstop. I love them. They're so good. They're the AG Farah in the color Brook, which is just like a really, really dark wash. Oh my gosh, they're everything I want in a jean. They're high rise. They basically go like right up to my belly button, which is my perfect fit. And they're like thin and like a little bit stretchy, but not like so thin that you like see your underwear through it or anything crazy. Oh. <sighs> really really happy with my purchase i have wanted to buy these for a few years but just talked myself out of it and i'm really glad that i bit the bullet when i saw that they were on sale at nordstrom so i did want to update you guys on those and i'll link them below if you're interested but they're super super awesome hey you guys so it's monday night and i'm just about to film i'm going to start a new series on my channel and I'm just waiting for my battery to charge, but I wanted to talk to you guys about the Oscars because that happened last night. I didn't watch it because like I told you guys in my Get Ready With Me, watching award shows is just really not for me. As much as I love following who's nominated for stuff, I just really don't want to spend my time watching the award shows. But Michael like live texted me throughout the whole thing, like telling me who was winning and stuff. And... I just, uh, first of all, let me say, almost all of the people and movies that I wanted to win won. And so that's super, super exciting. Kate, who works um, on Pixar movies, she worked on Zootopia and Zootopia won. So that was the movie I was rooting for. I also loved Moana, but I really, really, really love Zootopia. And Zootopia won Best um, Animated Film which I'm not surprised about because it was absolutely amazing. And then Viola Davis won Best Supporting Actress for her character in Fences. She was so, so strong in that movie and I, I'm so happy for her. I absolutely love Viola Davis and I watched like pretty much all of the after award um, like interviews from the variety. Um, it's like, I guess an internet 
are they a magazine or are they just like blogs? I don't know. They're like a news outlet and I pretty much watched all of the like award winners like being interviewed. Why is it so hard for me to say? Um, but Viola Davis's was absolutely amazing. I, I'm just so inspired by her. She is a really amazing woman. So I was super happy about that. I was really happy happy for Emma Stone to win Leading Actress. I loved La La Land, as you guys know, and I thought that that was Emma Stone's strongest performance that she's ever had, and so I think it was definitely much, much deserved. I did wish that Amy Adams would have been at least nominated for Best Actress for her role in Arrival, but... I, I don't know how these things are picked all the time, so I was kind of bummed about that. But can we talk about Best Picture? <laughs> I couldn't believe it because when I woke up and I read the text, I woke up in like the middle of the night and I read Michael's text about like the winners and stuff. And he first texted me, La La Land won Best Picture. And then like three minutes later, he was like, holy shit, they messed up and Moonlight won, which Moonlight is what we wanted to win. So I'm super happy with the results. But I like watched the like replay of what happened. And that like was crazy to me. I know it was a complete mistake and I feel awful for whoever was like responsible for those envelopes because that is such a terrible feeling to know that you were responsible for something like that even though it was a completely honest mistake. So I, I'm happy. I'm like over the moon happy, ah, over the moon, happy that Moonlight won because I truly believe that that was the best movie that was nominated um, this year. It was absolutely amazing and I could have accepted La La Land winning because I love that too, but I am just so happy for the cast and the directors and the writers of Moonlight. Um, like I said, I watched like all of the interviews with them and I'm just so happy. I'm so, so, so happy that um, I've been practicing, practicing how to say his name. Mahersa, Mahersala, Mahershala, Mahershala Ali won Best Supporting Actor because his, I, me and Michael are like obsessed with him just like in general and we thought that he was absolutely amazing in Moonlight so we definitely thought he deserved it and I loved his interview after the fact and I'll link all these things below because if you're like me I just love to hear people talk about their craft and I don't know I just find it so interesting to hear from the perspective of like the person actually playing the characters and not from the character's perspective because obviously you hear how the character thinks and you can see how they react to things but I just find humans so amazing and I just want to know all about what was going through the actors minds and more about their personal life. Um, Mahersa, Mahershala um, answered a question a really great question from a journalist that asked what advice would you give your daughter who was just literally she was born like less than a week ago and he said what did he say he was like pray pray that you will pray for your greatness or shit I wish that I knew what it was uh. all right I looked it up and he says pray to be guided to your excellence and I, I just love that. That is such a powerful statement to me. And it's like he just said it on the fly. And I'm like, you're so cool. So we were super, super happy about that. But I still just am kind of in awe of that whole whirlwind. It must have been so crazy to be on either side of it. Either La La Land thinking that you won and then having to give your award away and then for Moonlight to have thought that they didn't win and then to realize that you are the winner. That's just such a crazy turn of events and I would hate to be on La La Land side of things. And I do hate that Moonlight didn't get that like, 
I don't know, just hearing your name and no one else's name would have felt even better, I think, I know, than being like, oh wait, you actually did win, so... I was just like a really crazy thing to read Michael's text and then look up like all this insanity that happened. But um, yeah, I'm just super happy with the results. I loved Moonlight so much. I loved La La Land. I loved Arrival. I loved Hacksaw Ridge. I was happy that Casey Affleck won because he was really, really strong in Manchester by the Sea. And I think all around, just pretty much everyone in every movie that I wanted to win did, and that is really, really exciting. So I hope that if you guys were following the Oscars, you saw the movies that you wanted to see and saw maybe some of the winners and hopefully the ones that you wanted to win won some as well. And yeah, so um, I'm happy that it's over. <laughs> because now I don't have to try to see like five movies every weekend, but I'm, I'm gonna miss it until next year.